Wrong button. <laughs> Ark's newest additional map added to the game recently, The Center. This is a massive map with tons of different differing biomes, which is absolutely amazing. And today we're going to be talking about some of the best base locations because when it comes to figuring out the best base locations that you need on a map, what you need are access to um, easy access to water, metal, uh, crystal, and all sorts of the different animals and whatnot that you can ha um, that you can harvest for your base. And today we're going to be discussing the ones that uh, I think are the best ones. There are some that I may have missed, but honestly, these ones are the ones that uh, I think are generally the best ones. And for the most part, I'm talking about PvE and solo. Uh, sorry, PvPers. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, all right, let's hop right into it. Now, the first one is located around 56 latitude, 77.8 longitude, right here in the middle of the cove. Now, this one right here is absolutely amazing. Not only do you have a ton of resources above you, right here on the wall, there is a ton of metal up there. You also have an easy access to a whole bunch of underwater areas. So not only can you do a whole bunch of breeding here on the beach, but you can also uh, come out here and make a massive uh, pen for all your dinos that you possibly could want out here. And then, yeah, this is just one of the better bases um, to begin with. And then also for all the beach bob lovers, this right here is easily accessible from the early spawn points. Now, this next one we're going to be discussing is more like Beach Bob Light. It's way over here on this section of the island. It's over at 27.6, 76.8 up here on the edge of the rock uh, structure that is right here. And this is really good. There's tons of metal. There's crystal around here. There's tons of dinos over there that you can easily tame. Plus, it is a really flat area right here. Now, if you come back along this way... Along the land bridge, there is a really a vast amount of metal and other resources available for you. You can come over, you can build over on this area as well, or you can leave it plain and then just come back and harvest the resources once they've re been respawned. It's actually a really good area, and I think this one could do you well. And uh, Beach Bobs, this one is still within your caliber, so yeah, it's very, very safe over here. And if you're one of those ones that loves plundering the Volcano Island or the Carnival Island that's right next to it, there is another one that is right here um, next to it. This one is located off the edge of the volcano, but it doesn't have all the volcano spawns. So um, you have easy access to all the resources that are on the Volcano Island, plus also plenty that are on this one as well. And you have very flat spaces that are underneath all those trees over there. It's a really good spot. It will do you really, really well. There's plenty of metal to be had, plus also all the silica pearls and everything like that that you can get from the Volcano Island very easily. And then also easy access to uh, Gigas up there in the volcano. And then also Rexes as well, plus also all the stuff that is located on the Carno Island that is right off, the, off its coast. And there's plenty of flat areas for building all sorts of bases. So this one is located right here. Easy accessible to this, which is the volcano, and then easily accessible to uh, the Carno Island right there. And this one is located at 8.0, 73.0. Another really good source of basing, especially in the early game, and you may end up wanting to move a little bit further inland from here, but these islands that are located right around here on the uh, center map, these ones right here are actually really good. Now, they don't have easy accessible uh, resources as metal and such like that, but you do have easy access to all the big islands that do have it. But if you want to have a nice home away from home down here where you can actually build uh, until your heart's content, really cool elaborate bases where you will not have to worry about being attacked by random things, this is... Uh, the kind of place that you want. Now, there is quite a few other ones over here where you can build as well, and you can just dot the land with whatever you want. Uh, this right here is a really good base location for single player. Also, you do have easy access to a bunch of the uh, underwater areas as well. Plus, you can section off some of these places and then use them as underwater dino pens for breeding, which makes uh, breeding dinos really good for underwater bre um, breeding. 
All right, the next one, just off the Redwoods. This one is actually really good. Now, this is at 80.1, 70.9. Now, this one is, I mean, honestly, you get all the benefits of the Redwoods without actually having to live in the Redwoods and worry about being pounced by a bunch of Thylacoleos. There's tons of metal around here. There's tons of crystal. There's obsidian to be had. There is all sorts of goodies uh, to be pilfered from the Redwoods. And this one right here is located way over here on the side atop of the Rocky Plateau that is right there. Now, it is actually really cool. It's plenty of sun, and I know the redwoods actually tend to block out a whole bunch of the sun, but it's also, uh, you have access to everything, including Thylacoleos, and uh, what's not to love about that? I mean, you can go in, you can get your metal and everything. On the opposite side, there is a land bridge that connects uh, to the ground, so you don't even need to use a flying mount. You can go in on a ground mount, which is absolutely amazing, and it really makes this one probably my favorite base location for the Redwoods. And, yeah, is this is a really good spot. All right, now the next one I want to talk about is located right in between this crevice right over here. It's actually really cool. And this right here is the location for 86.9, 36.3. But that's not the um, base location itself. This is just the entrance to it. And then you come down around right inside through here and then work your way around like this. And then you will come across this little area right here. Now, if you look back behind you, there is so much metal up along these area right here it is absolutely phenomenal this is great crystal metal galore now you will have to worry about every once in a while things falling off onto the area into your base or you could just put something up there to stop them from spawning altogether but this area right here it open it offers a really good flat land so where you can build whatever you want and then also over here it has an area where you can I mean, you can fit pleasies in this lake, which means that you can um, breed underwater dinos to your heart's content. It is absolutely amazing. This base right here, yeah, it is located a little bit off uh, the beaten path, way over here in the corner. But if you want a nice hidden secluded base, this is a really good choice for one. This is located 91.8 and 31.6. All right, much like the volcano one, where the island just off to the south, uh, off to the uh, east, this one is more off to the west. But also, uh, this one right here is a little bit. This one is very far north, actually. This is at twelve point eight and thirty seven point three. But this is also right in between the winter biome over there and then the um, oh the volcano biome over there. So not only do you have all the access to all of that really easily, but you also have access to all the oil and stuff. <laughs> that is up here in them our hills plus also this has an amazing area where you could easily um go and put a really flat uh base and just cover up the entire bit of it it looks a little bit weird before you clear cut it but once you clear cut it and every base always ends up clear cutting it uh you can actually get some really cool stuff over here this is absolutely an amazing base you ever have one of those bases where you just want to enjoy the million dollar view? Oh yeah, this is one of those ones. This is one of the ultimate PVE -er build areas. Unfortunately, the only downside with this one is it's gonna take you a little bit of time and a little bit of working to get the flowing water. But uh, yeah, once you set up all your uh, water barrels, you will have plenty of access to all of it, which is absolutely amazing. Plus, there's a ton of metal up here. There's all sorts of resources to everything. Plus, also, you have the ultimate access to the center island, which who wouldn't want that? I mean, this one right here, there is so much stuff up in there. Uh, with the team of Argents, you can get anything you absolutely wanted. And then, also, you are close enough to the winter biome to get just about anything you wanted as well. And this one is located right here at 37.4 and 34.2 it is off layered off to the side of the uh off to the center island but it is one of the uh floating little peninsulas built onto it and it is a really flat area and it is a good spot
Now for one of the most centrally located areas on the island, these set of runes right here is, I mean, this one right here just kind of stands out. And this one is located almost at the very center of the map at 47.6, 53.2. And this one is absolutely amazing. There's metal, there's crystal, there's all sorts of resources available for you. Plus also there's plenty of access down to the Underdark um, that you are very easily accessible from right around this area. And it, it, this one is absolutely amazing. The metal is a little bit harder to reach, but once you actually have a flyer, you're able to get up here very, very easily and harvest this stuff. It's really, really easy. Plus, also, right over here is another... Uh, uh, there's one of the entrances to the Underdark that is just located right straight down below me. Now, this location is right here. And this right here is the area that I'm talking about with the runes in it. Now, the next one I want to talk is actually very close to the other one. This one is located at 50.7, 52.5. Now, if you've ever enjoyed uh, water builds, this one right here is just screaming for it. I mean, look at this. There is a waterfall right there that you could easily build right over the top of. Plus, also, it already has its own rune structures built into it. And not only that, you can have the hole down below um, with all the easy access to the metal over there as well. And then fresh flowing water that comes up through here. Plus, also, you could have an area right here that as it spreads out into the back area where you could do a little bit of water breeding. Not too much, but you can have access to that. But also, this right here provides its own um own gateway to the jungle in the back and I mean who just doesn't love a view like that that one is absolutely amazing i love this base location all right now located over here on this side now here i will show you my map for all the uh entrances that you can get to the underwater areas or the underground areas these are the different ones uh, that i will show you there's an entrance right here at 36.3 48.6 another one right here that is underwater at 34 4.6 58.7 the flying entrance which i'm about to show you uh this one is at 36.7 60.4 there's another underwater entrance where you just swim down below is at 45.1 50.3 and then this one right here is uh 54.5 57.8 this one is also a very uh very busy cave All right now with that uh, what we're going to do is you see this little uh, area right here, and then from here you look up to the left. You fly right up like this, and then you go right in between this area. Now, if you go down through here, you'll be able to circle all the way down below here. And this spot up here, this has got a whole bunch of different base locations in it, and there are some actually rather cool ones. Now, from here, all you do is just follow this pathway all the way, get all the way through here, down this way as it curves and it bends then once you are down below it will open up into the most amazing underground area you could possibly imagine this is wicked cool but the area we're going to be talking about primarily is right over here on this island there is this right here is probably the safest spot in the entire map and this is located Right here at uh, 37.8, 50.6, deep, deep underground. Now, all of these waterfalls that you see in this, if you have a flyer, you can fly right up inside of it, and there's an exit that goes out um, through each one of these, and it is absolutely amazing. You just go all the way up like this, cryo your dino, and then go through there. Make sure you've got something else once you do go through there. Um, or you can come back down in, and I would encourage people to go through because this fall is absolutely um, cool falling down through there. But yeah, this right here is an absolutely amazing area. Plus, with all of the underground caves, you do also have easy access to uh, just about everything. Yeah, all the caves um, that uh, bend their way through the Underdark to get down to here have uh, metal, obsidian, crystal just about everything you possibly could want. All right, so hey, 
I hope you guys enjoyed that. This is my, uh, these are the my favorite base location areas. They're also really, really good for uh, full for end game arc survival builds. Um, places that you can go have easy access to all the resources that you could possibly need. And yeah, so hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the list. There's quite a few of them here, some amazing ones. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. I really appreciate that. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flinger, and take it easy, everybody.